Bluestacks is a piece of software that lets you run Android apps on a Windows PC. This means that anyone can use their Windows 10 computer to play their favorite Android games or use their Android apps. While Bluestacks work normally for many people all the time, some users have reported experiencing the black screen issue. That is, nothing shows up on the screen and the app simply becomes unresponsive. If you're getting the black screen issue right now, here are the solutions that you can try. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, restart your computer. Before trying any of the troubleshooting steps, it is best to restart your computer. This action restarts the operating system and gets rid of any corrupt temporary files that could be causing the problem. Next, use the integrated graphics card. If you have both a dedicated GPU and an integrated GPU in your computer, you should try using the integrated GPU. Here's how to do that. In the Windows search bar, type Graphics Settings and open Graphics Settings. On the page called Graphics Settings, choose Browse. A new window will open. Go to the location on your computer where Bluestacks is installed. The default location is usually C, Program Files, Bluestacks. When you get there, click on the hdplayer.exe file and then click on the Add button. A Bluestacks player will be added to the Graphics Settings page. Here, click Options to give Bluestacks 5 access to your PC's GPU. A window will pop up showing the GPUs used for the power saving and high performance options. If your system only has one GPU, you'll see that GPU's name under both options. Choose High Performance and click Save for the best experience. Next, install the latest graphics card drivers. One of the main reasons you might get a black screen when using Bluestacks is if your graphics driver is broken or out of date. Because of this, it's best to make sure that your Windows 10 computer has the latest graphics driver. Here's how. Right-click Start icon. Click Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapter. Right-click your GPU then, select Uninstall. Confirm the Uninstall. After that, go to the NVIDIA official website. You can manually enter your GPU's information or you can choose automatic download. Install the downloaded version and restart your PC after that. Next, disable threaded optimization. There are times when the settings for your graphics card can mess with how Bluestacks works. If this is the problem, you should try turning off threaded optimization in the software that comes with your graphics card. Open NVIDIA control panel. Select Manage 3D Settings from the left pane. Click the Program Settings tab and select Bluestacks from the list. If it's not there, click the Add button and select Bluestacks Frontend. Locate Threaded Optimization on the list and set it to Off. Click Apply to save changes. Lastly, reinstall Bluestacks. If the problem happens when you run a certain Android app on Bluestacks, you should try getting rid of this app. On the Bluestacks window, click on the blue colored Home button. Close the open apps if there is. Just click on the red X icon. Go back to My Games tab and look for the app you want to remove. Hover the mouse over to the icon of the app and click the three vertical dots. Click Uninstall to begin removing the app. A pop-up will appear, click Delete to confirm. Afterwards, reinstall the app again. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.